We finally have vegan butter beer! Hello, all of you witch wizards and magical people. My name is Tyler, and I'm the president and creator of the Protego Foundation. Now, in case you didn't read the title of this video, or you can't tell by the just pure glee in my voice right now, um, we have vegan butterbeer. Officially licensed vegan butterbeer. Yes, that is right. The Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London has finally released a vegan butterbeer. Oh, yeah, I know. It's huge. It's exciting. Now, you may be asking yourself, Tyler, what's the big deal about a vegan drink? Well, viewer, let me tell you. The Protego Foundation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that works to get Harry Potter fans and fans of the Wizarding World excited about helping the magical creatures in our world, launched a campaign called Accio Vegan Butterbeer. The whole point of our campaign was to get Warner Brothers and Universal Studios to offer a vegan, dairy free butterbeer. Huge, a big task, we know, but one that has nonetheless come true. It's here. Yes. So Warner Brothers Studio Tour just announced that they are making a bottled vegan butterbeer. Wow. So cool. So exciting. I know I'm going to keep doing that throughout the video, but I'm so excited. This is huge because not only is it big for vegans who choose to abstain from consuming dairy products for ethical and environmental reasons, but it's also good for uh, fans who are lactose intolerant or fans who just don't want to consume dairy for, for health problems. So this is huge for us as fans because now we get to indulge in this magical drink that has been such an important part of our childhood. But more importantly, it's good for the mother cows who now don't have to have their milk stolen away from their babies just to make a drink that's going to be sold at Wizarding World. It's huge for everybody and we are so thankful to Warner Brothers for making this drink finally happen. So before I dive into trying this, I want to tell you a little bit about what the Protego Foundation's campaign, Accio Vegan Butterbeer, was all about. So like I said, it launched in 2018 asking Universal and Warner Brothers to release a vegan butterbeer. That's all we asked for. And the campaign really put the Protego Foundation on the map. In terms of press, it was covered in Live Kindly, the Los Angeles Business Journal, Veg News, Plant Based News. It was even featured on The Leaky Cauldron, MuggleNet, and LA Weekly. So it was pretty big. But in addition to that, Harry Potter actor and actress Robbie Jarvis and Ivana Lynch, who both played young James Potter and Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter films, also came out and showed their support for the campaign as well. So it's a pretty big deal, one that we're really excited about, and I'm just so pumped to dive into this. So here we go. I'm going to put down my wand here so that way we can open this bad boy up. So as you can see, it comes in this really beautiful box printed all around. And like, the cool thing about this box is it looks like it's showing how these wizards are brewing the actual butterbeer. Like, this is huge. Really cool. Really nicely packaged. I do want to give a shout out to Emma at The Leaky Cauldron for sending this over here because it is not currently available in the US. It's only available in the United Kingdom, but the Protego Foundation will be pushing to get this over here as well. So keep your fingers crossed. So let's undo this little bit of twine here. love this packaging too. So the twine is off. So I can't, I can't even like open it. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Calm down. Oh, even cooler. So the design continues on the inside of the box. So you can see that right there. Very nice. And I, ooh. I'm gonna go this way. I'm also very happy that this didn't explode in transit. Like, that's huge. Um, I, before I talk about the bottle and pull it out, I did want to say that I got this yesterday, and uh, Warwick Davis, he went on Instagram Live at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, and he did do an Instagram Live, um, and he gave tips on how you're supposed to drink the bottled vegan butterbeer. Um, and there are two main tips. One, serve it chilled. And two, before you pour it, tilt the bottle upside down, open it, and then pour it. That's what is going to give it like that frothiness that we'll see in a sec. 
Um, so I did put this in my fridge right after I got it uh, and just left it in there. So it's gonna be nice and cold. Ooh, and it feels nice and cold. That's nice. So yeah, let me show you the rest of the box here. Um, so the inside of the box is more of that beautiful artwork. I, I bet you this is, a, this is a, probably from Mina Lima as well. But that is so cool. And it keeps the bottle safe and secure. Definitely gonna be keeping that as a memento. But here it is. Bottled vegan butter beer. So that's, there's that beautiful label that Mina Lima made. Um, this label, they're going to be switching it out, so it's gonna be collectors. So yeah, here, let's get a better view. So butter beer has that little part right there. And here's the back. Nice. And then I think that part right there, I hope you guys can see it, where it says vegan friendly, that's the part I'm most excited about. Because like I said, every Butterbeer product that has been released thus far, there's like six of them. There's like a pudding, there's a Butterbeer fudge, Butterbeer ice cream, hot, cold, regular Butterbeer, all of it contains milk. But this is the first product to be released since the Proteo Foundation launched our Accio Vegan Butterbeer campaign. Um, and the fact that this is vegan points to the fact that this is because of the Protego Foundation's petition, because of support from so many Harry Potter fans. I mean, we've had over 7,500 people sign that petition. So clearly people want a dairy-free vegan butter beer, and they finally gave it to us. I've got my free Dobby mug, House of Liberation, am I right? Okay, so as Warwick Davis said, serve it chilled. Take the bottle, tilt it upside down, go like that, open it on up. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Just the smell of that. Oh, the butterscotch. Wow, that is, that's uh, it's my favorite kind of candy too, or um, even my favorite kind of candle scent. It's like that mapley butterscotchy smell. And this, this smells just like it. For those who don't know, I have not had like the butter beer that comes on tap at like Universal. I've never had it. So this is, this is the first time that I'm ever going to actually try butter beer. Ooh, I, I wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing, but. I'm just gonna pour a little in there. Oh, nice. So it does froth up like it's supposed to. cap back on. Ooh, I didn't show you guys the cap. Even the cap has the like butterbeer like fairy looking logo. That's cool. It's very nice. Okay. Here we go. To Magical Creature Liberation. Oh. Wow. Mm. That butterscotchy scent, I get that flavor right away, then it goes away, and then I get a... Mm. And then I get a kind of fruity flavor, but then that butterscotch comes back at just the right time. Like, it's hitting different parts of my tongue. Ah, oh, this is so good. I'm trying to think of... Everybody has described butterbeer to me as um, just cream soda. And that's kind of a letdown, you know, but then it makes me feel better like, oh, okay, I'm not missing out on anything. But this does not taste like cream soda at all. Because I am a huge cream soda lover. Root beer and cream soda are my favorite sodas. And as I'm drinking this, I'm not getting cream soda at all. Like I said, I'm getting that butterscotch right at the, right at the front. And then as it sits on my tongue, I get a fruity flavor. And then it comes back with like a butterscotch palate cleanser. So it's it's really unique flavor. And I would expect nothing less from the Wizarding World. And it just, this butterbeer smell, like this is exactly what I thought butterbeer would smell like. Uh, a, a butterscotchy smell, but more, 
like it's woody. It has like a little bit of, if I were to drink this in the hogshead, you know, surrounded by wood, it's been there for a long time in Hogsmeade, it's an old building, but then this beautiful scent of butterscotch kind of takes over. Like I feel warm as I'm drinking this, even though it's chilled. You know, as I'm sitting here thinking about this and, and realizing that we finally have vegan butter beer, I'm blown away, honestly. Um, this is something that I never thought we would actually ever get. I'm getting a little emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like, this is so fun. This is so cool. The fact that we, we can go to the, you know, Warner Brothers studio tour in London and have a vegan butter beer, you know, yes, you know, you can go to the Warner Brothers studio tour and get the butter beer base with none of that dairy foam on top. Um, but you can't do that here in Universal due to contract uh, licensing. So if you go to Universal and ask for the butter beer without the foam, you can't get it. And I've tried so many different ways to get that butter beer because, you know, that's what we're trying to do. Everybody who chooses to not drink or consume dairy for health, for environmental, or for ethical reasons, really, we just want to fit in too. We just want to go to our favorite magical place and have a glass of butter beer just like everybody else. And so that was really the motivation behind the Accio Vegan Butter Beer campaign. And now we have it partway. We almost have it fully. I just, I'm so excited. This is so great. Um, I can't wait for everybody else to try it. If you are a Harry Potter fan who wants to try bottled vegan butter beer, if you are somebody who's lactose intolerant, if you're somebody who's trying to reduce the amount of environmental impact that you have as a human being and you're ditching dairy, or if you choose not to drink or consume dairy for ethical reasons because you care about mother cows, I want you to have this and we will be pushing at the Protego Foundation, we will be pushing to have this as accessible as possible. So if you signed our petition, I'm gonna tear it. If you signed our petition, thank you. Thank you so much. If you shared it, if you signed it, if you just told somebody about it, if you saw it, thank you for making this happen. I cannot even believe that we have it. I'm, I know this is bad for video, but I'm speechless. I'm honestly just blown away that this is even a thing. So thank you again. So if you'd like to get involved with the Protego Foundation and help magical creatures in our world, just visit ProtegoFoundation.org. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and sign up for our email list. We have a lot of really great campaigns coming up and you can help us achieve other victories just like vegan butterbeer. Down in the Chamber of Secrets below, let me know what your thoughts are on bottled vegan butterbeer. Are you excited to try it? Have you tried it? Let us know. And until next time, and on behalf of all magical creatures, Protego Maxima. Woo!